Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman for the CombatSystem.com. I'm going to show you some combative stuff, all you guys out there. Just how to hit in short distance, try and explain power a little bit to you. Um, I'm just going to show the body mechanics a little bit, and then I'll also show you how to do things from a combative standpoint if you had to preemptively strike the, the guy you knew it was going to go off and the stuff was going to hit the fan. Um, also show maybe some examples how you could use in MMA certain punches, Russian long hooks like Eagle of Chachin and Fedor and Okay, so um, first I'll, sh I'll show combative slap. Maybe, maybe you're talking to a palm strike, tiger strike. You're talking to the guy and you're like, hey man, I don't want any trouble. He's back away and he's pointing, you see him punching up, you know he's going to swing. Um, you might be out here, you're in your guard, your fence, some people call out here. So, you, the body mechanics are being loose, but for combatives, I would also step out at this angle. Go in on the guy. Okay, you go in the knees and elbows and hammer strikes and, and claw strikes into the eyes. Cross, hammer, claw strike, palm strike. Okay, trying to go into his eyes, or if he's bending over elbows and chuck him down to the ground with a snap down. That's just how So, you might be preemptively out here. Okay, and then you're going. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, going in on the guy. Base attack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. here, you don't want to telegraph it. That guy, you know, back off. Hey, back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Okay, this is obviously I'd be hitting him. <laughs> and my partner, we we haven't rehearsed like. I'm gonna knee him here and elbow him here and stuff to, to kind of take it without getting damaged. But I'm showing, I'm showing forward pressure. Maybe I'm tired. But showing forward pressure and forward pressure is what's important to, to get the guy back on his heels and go in on him. Some of this is body mechanics stuff, just trying to you know, understand power. And some of this is gonna be a combative application. Okay. So obviously he's flying off his hand. I'm hitting pretty hard. Okay, so there's claw strikes, palm strikes, pen claws. Uh, I'll show I'll show hammer. Maybe I'm up here. I'm in my fence, I don't want any problems. And I go, bah! hammer. I go, bah! Bah! hammer strike. Maybe because I'm in here. Bam, I go in here. Or I drop on his draw. And it knocks him down. Cycle. Here, and now hammer is back. Elbow, elbow, knee strike, down to the ground, kick. Okay, so, you know, it depends on where he, his body goes. If a guy's bent over, these hammer strikes deep into the body, deep into the back of the neck, you know, stuff you can't do in MMA, hitting him back here, the back of the head. If your life's in threat, and you need to, this is what we're talking about here, real self-defense combat. Okay, so that would be, maybe I start a PFW strike with a with forward pressure. Okay, and we've seen my spearing in applications. That's usually the best if he starts to swing. Okay, just one more time. Power and hammer strike. I'm here. You step in and throw. Grab. Hits. Hits. So I'd be here. Grab. Elbow. Elbow. Hits. You know, you got on the outside. Elbow. Hits. 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 Back sweep. Okay. So, you know, it depends obviously on his reactions always. But usually you want to blast the guy with forward pressure going straight in the line. Okay, another strike you could do uh, is in my MMA system, a seven and an eight Russian long hook like Fedor and Igor Vrachacha makes in. So about here, without moving my body for uh, mass momentum added to the strike, which you would if it was a careful strike, just so I can lose body mechanics. Okay, without moving my feet in my way. Okay, so he's in here and he's mounted off. I might be here and I go. Okay, this time I step up and grab it. I go here. Going in on the guy. Hopefully the first punch you learn to develop power at short range. So that preemptive strike is very hard. So I'm not moving my body yet. I'm just showing here. Okay? Boots and whipping the hips. Have a rotational power. Bare fist 
the guy not breaking my, my ribs, knuckles, and just grab me a little experience to just kind of Okay? Now, showing more power to the guy with the step out. Stepping in 45 degree. Okay, I'm talking to the guy here, and I gotta get power for the short range strike. You know, I'm in my guarded fence, what I call my prepared stance, and I have to stand. Here. Okay. Now I'll show forward strike, back, back hammer. Back this, back, back hammer. Here. Okay, so just think about power, this is good even for an amazing student. Here. Here. Ah. Okay, now I didn't move my feet. It's just an arm punch. Okay, but I'm, you learn how to use loose counter rotational body mechanics around your, your system, okay, around your spine. Let me know if we get to 14 minutes, okay? Are we at about 10 right now? Uh, we're at 558. Okay, good. Okay, so. Usually talk about it to get the ear, the eardrum. Okay, it's also a good first cap to strike with your hand cup. You can have a high guard here. You're in distance. Come on. Trust me, you hit a guy here with a cup. Here's here's like 25% power. Oh. Can I go about 25 at once? Ah, okay. okay. Okay, this is from no distance. One inch. <laughs> anyway, it's not quite. But it actually makes you really dizzy when you get on on uh, head on top and do one pass. Do this pass. Okay, one time. You ready? Okay, so this is you know something you can actually use in MMA a little bit if you're doing a high guard, you're taller than your fighter. Um, cup hand blows can be used if you step up. You can step up and come on. Here. 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 Ah. Here. 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 Finding his eyes a little bit. You know, guys at least get that flinching response even if you don't go in there. Okay, so you might go from here if he's popping off the roof. Hopefully a little bit over there. You got a bad Russian in the face, Russian mob guy. Like Vladimir here, former world champion rower. You go, oh my god, look how strong this dude is. I don't necessarily want to play jujitsu on the ground with this dude. So he's mopping off me and you're deep in the But I don't want to show him. Hey, bam, you hit him. Okay, follow. Maybe he's out there. Slice or palm strike, cross. Now he's down. Hammer, hammer, knee. Knee, shove down. Look, your six. Check your six. Look around for our opponent. Okay, so let's break both of them a little bit like that. We'll just go from here. Strike me. I might go. There. There. Six and disengage. So here, you know he's gonna play. I'm away. Cut. Okay. Cross. Cycle. Full straight. Straight. Elbow. Elbow. Knee. 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 Knee.
green, okay? So you gotta be able to follow, follow in with your crosses, palm strikes. I like to use this as a range finder, throw the palm strike in his face a lot of times. So yeah, but I don't want to be So here, okay? Going blasting him. All right. I tap very light if I get anything. It's very light. Okay. So you're here. You might start with some palms with you. Both we'll a little bit. Just a little bit. Here, buddy, buddy. Back up. Ah, 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 ah. Checking your six, moving away. Okay, so feel enough damage because he's hopping. <laughs> Feel enough damage to him, and, I, and I'm pulling, trying to pull my shots. It's hard to film this stuff realistically, too, unless you have a partner and you see some kid out of a guy. Have a guy that really goes for it. But here's some power strikes, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll show maybe in another video how to use the 7-8 with them and make on for another. Thanks. Put it in the comment system.com.